this video, we will take a look at the architecture around release products and product policies uh, inside Dynamics AX 2012. As we already know, the product data and the product definition is shared across our enterprise. However, before we can start using our products within specific legal entity, we need to make sure uh, that these products will become available uh, with that, within that company. In other words, we need to release the products to the legal entity. And the way to do it is to release all relevant product masters and distinct products and all associated product variances. Now let's go back to Dynamics AX to the product master release page and found our demo product. Let's click uh, release button on action pane where we can select the select product and the companies we would like to release it to and we press OK. And once we're done, we can navigate to release product list page, find our demo product, and as you can see, we have a one product master and four variances that has been released to the current company. From physical model point of view, when we release a product master or distinct product, then you'll have a new entry or a new record uh, in the inventory table. In other words, uh, inventory table holds all released products uh, within a given company. And as you can see, it has a mandatory product foreign key to uh, the shared product entity. And every time we release a distinct product variant, we will have a new entry in a company specific in the DIM combination table, which also has a mandatory distinct product variant foreign key field. From data distribution point of view, Inventory table holds all released products within a company. As you can see, it has a saved data per company property set to yes. So let's filter out Inventory table to find the our just released product. So as you can see, we have a new entry in the Inventory table. It has an item ID, which by default is the same as a, a shared product ID. And you can also see we have a mandatory product foreign key to a shared product. All released product variances are stored in a company-specific InnoDim combination table. So let's find our pro four product variances. As you can see, we have a, a mandatory foreign key to the shared uh, product variant. And you can also navigate uh, to the InnoDim structure. So you can see it has uh, the same product dimension specified as the shared product variant has. There are different policies we can set up to control how the product should be used within a system. Some of those policies are shared, like product type, and some of those policies can be legal entity specific or can be all written within a given legal entity. For example, we have a three dimension groups which can be associated to the product. We have a product, storage, and tracking dimension group. Once we release a product to the given legal entity, we need to finalize the product setup before we can start using this product uh, for any operation within that, within that company. And there are a couple of important policies we need to be especially aware of, such as default order type, item group, and model group. And is, as you can also see, we have an opportunity to overwrite storage and tracking dimension group within our uh, legal entity. Let's go back to Dynamics AX2012 to uh, release product list page. Let's find our product and double click to see its details. So you can see here we have a defined different dimension groups and storage groups, dimension groups. For example, we will set up a group which has site and warehouse dimension active. We also can uh, define a model group on a general tab, first tab. And you can define an uh, item group on a Manage Cost tab. And the default order type goes as a part of default order type settings. So you can select different default order types. From physical model point of view, we have uh, two tables, Invent Item Group and Invent Model Group. And we have uh, two relationship tables in between in to associate the release product uh, which is stored at in inventory table and item group or inventory model group. And as you can also see, we have a dedicated entity to hold all uh, default order type 
per each released product. Regarding dimension groups, uh, we have uh, three tables which stores dimension groups identifications and we have a table to store the corresponding setups. Uh, then we have a relationship table in between product and the dimension group and we also have a relationship table so we can overwrite or decide which group to use on the released product level as well. And please notice that the product dimension group is defined as a part of a product master definition and you cannot change this setup uh, for the released product uh, master. From data distribution point of view uh, we have a three dimension groups. Uh, we have a main table like Acura storage dimension group table with a name field as identification. Uh, then we have a table which hold a setup for the current dimension group and we have a, a relationship table so we can associate uh, different products uh, with a storage dimension group. And the same goes for tracking dimension group and product dimension group uh, model in exactly the same way. With the only difference is that we also have a relationship table for storage and tracking groups where you can uh, make a relationship between your group and uh, um, released product. The item group, uh, item model group and default order type has similar physical models uh, but on the released product level because these policies are kind of settings that is not uh, typically shared across the organization. So for example if you look on uh, the way how default order type stores you can see we have a um, released product and we have we associated the specified default order type and as you might notice we use item ID plus uh, item that area ID foreign foreign keys to model as a relationship to the released product. This was a very short introduction to the released products and the different product policies and the way how the data is stored from conceptual model, uh, physical model and kind of data distribution point of view. Thank you for your attention.